Well, hello guys. Uh, I guess it's that time of the year uh, where I build a whole bunch of Gunpla for a whole bunch of uh, local collectors. Uh, started with these 30 man emissions, uh, Basque Rado. Uh, still waiting for new arrivals so I can army build that guy. Um, doing a whole bunch of them for the tabletop people. And then uh, I'm doing an army build, a uh, couple of these, I think, for uh, a local collector. Uh, you know, someone uh, from the hobby shop, I guess. Um, apparently, judging from this picture, I need to build two of these. So these are the spec ops. Uh, you know, I feel like these things really look like doms. You know, every time there's a new series, you know, there's gonna need to have a new, uh, you know, variant of the dom, right? <laughs> This one actually doesn't look too bad. It looks super simple too. Uh, so that Basquerado was like $18 after tax, believe it or not. Uh, some people say my local hobby shop have very good pricing. Uh, I think that is factual because uh, I've been shopping with them. Uh, majority of my uh, Gunpla collection came from my local hobby shop. And this guy cost me 20 bucks. So. Yeah, I mean, well, technically it costs a customer 20 bucks because uh, I'm, I'm building these kits for them. Uh, I think after this, probably going to be building the uh, uh, the other two Delanzas, maybe. Yeah, depends on how I feel about this one. Uh, people told me uh, these kits are actually pretty good. Uh, so I, I built the uh, uh, the Demi Trainer uh, last year, and I thought that was pretty decent, you know. <laughs> I'll be honest, I think these kits are actually a lot better than 30 minute missions. The way the joints are designed, eh, depends on which kit actually. Uh, but uh, there are no polycasts with these. So they simplify the design to be like 30 minute missions. And well, unfortunately, stuff like this happens with 30 minute missions kits. That th those, uh, you know, those C clips, they don't hold out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mold degradation. Uh, so yeah, it, it, this is frustrating. So anyway, uh, we're going to take a look at the uh, parts real quick and then I'll end the video. So we got the parts here. We got some sub molded in the dark brown and it's only two bags. So this should be a very quick and simple build. Uh, I'm just hoping the seam lines are not egregious. Uh, Obviously, with this one, there is foil stickers, and they're bad. So the missile on the back, in the backpack, that is all sticker. Visor, that's fine. You know, that's expected. Uh, the green sticker for the uh, beam rifle, yeah. That's also expected, too. So, get the color separation seems okay. He's got three different colors, but I don't think it's actually uh, color accurate. Uh, let's see if I can see, I can spot more color uh, issues. There should be plenty because, uh, yeah, like, okay, so these thrusters on the bottom, uh, I think those are all supposed to be purple. They're probably not going to be purple. <laughs> yeah, here, we have, here we have the color guy. Looks like a simple build, but it's nothing like impressive whatsoever. You know, all the, uh, all the stuff. Looks very generic, as you know, I would expect from uh, high grade Gumpla. You know, <laughs> yeah. I, I am curious on how the legs are designed. Is it designed like 30 minute missions with the C clips? It certainly look that way. Look, it just clips on directly to the parts. Yep, right there. Let's see. That B part is two C clips, I think. Wow, that just means uh, at some point, at some point, we're gonna have this. That's gonna be fun, right? Spring action. All right, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna be building this guy and then I'm gonna review it. Uh, looks cool, but... Uh... <laughs> Maybe I'm a, I'm a UC fan for a reason. I think these are cool, but we'll see what will happen after I build it. Thanks for watching. 